everyone and welcome back to our daily vlog series. Today we are on day 50 of our blogs and we are almost at the end of looking at the book Prayer by Philip Yancey. We are in chapter 11, I'm like the beginning of chapter 11 today and the heading is Ask, Seek and Knock and particularly looking at um, the title Battering the Gates. Um, I think in context of prayer and uh, the religious message I think it kind of links to um, almost us you cannot kind of sounds to me like we need permission when actually I don't think we need permission at all to pray like prayer and praying is such a free act and it is a gift of God like I think it's such a well-known thing that all Christians and even non-Christians like sometimes don't realize that we need prayer and sometimes even like if we are like I've got non-Christian friends that don't sometimes realize they actually are praying in a way and I think when it says battering down the gates it almost kind of links to battering down this image of having permission to pray and like battering down the gates like I feel like gates in this sense is almost like a barrier between us praying and like that being answered and praying to God so actually showing that we don't need these barriers or almost if we are fearful or doubtful of what we are trying to say or if we are feeling really down um within ourselves or we're just having like a down day that we don't need this permission to say how we feel and that actually um God's saying and Yancey's obviously saying in this book that we don't need this permission and that prayer is free and it is an act of God and it's an act of grace as well so in chapter 11 Yancey looks at strive on like the shameless neighbor in the middle of the night keep pounding the door and I think this also shows that how we can be persistent in praying so if there are like a demons or our doubts and our worries are getting in the way of our prayer life and our opportunity or ability to pray or feel almost like positive or optimistic that actually God um, tolerates our requests and demands those supporting the cause of God's own, own kingdom so when we need prayer or we feel perhaps down that we have that permission to pray and because we are children of God and praying is this such faithful act that when we are persistent within our prayer life and wanting almost to get closer, like I've always said, prayer is a way of getting closer to God and our, pra our prayers, no pun intended, but our prayers and our wishes, I guess, and our thoughts are being answered um, through the act of prayer. And I think as well, like, if you look at the three words, ask, seek, knock, it's almost like you're asking for your prayers to be answered, obviously. So you're asking for somebody's pain to go away or somebody's hurt or just that an exam goes right for somebody. Um, and then you're seeking that almost advice. So like, I almost think sometimes that if we look at God as like a counsellor or God as a therapist, because then you're seeking for their advice almost and their support for your wishes and the support for your prayer. And then knocking, it's almost like you're at God's door, like the, the door to his kingdom and your prayer is received. And again, like when we're persistent with our knocking and with our asking that our prayers are being answered and delivered to God. 